another vlog. My name is Layton. If you're new here, I make lifestyle videos and videos about nursing. So I'd love for you to stick around. I'm so glad you're here. Today is Thursday. It's around 10 o'clock and obviously I'm off today. I don't have work today. I worked Monday and Tuesday and then I had Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off. And then I work this weekend and I am back on days, which is nice because I like days better. So that's been good to be back on days and I'll talk a little more about work and stuff later but i just can't stop looking out the window because it's snowing again in my last vlog that i vlogged like earlier this week or last weekend it was snowing and then it got a little bit warmer and now it's snowing again i'm in memphis if you didn't know memphis and our weather is always like so back and forth and crazy so on christmas it was literally like 70 degrees and then a couple days later it was snowing. Anyway, I have a lot I have to get done today. I still have to take my Christmas decorations down, as you can still see. I need to do that, and then I've got to clean. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I, on my last vlog, I kept saying I needed to do it, and I still did not do it. So, in just a second, I'm going to listen to a podcast and just clean. Like, I'll probably set a timer for an hour on my phone and just, like, go hard for an hour. Listen to a podcast and just get that out of the way so I can stop procrastinating with it. I just need to like deep clean my floors and like scrub my shower. It's just gotten bad and I need to stop putting it off. Oh, also feeling very good this morning because I just checked my email and I'm officially monetized on YouTube. And this is like such a dream for me and just such a huge milestone for me and I really cannot believe it. I just want to say thank you all so so much all of you who are new to my channel like since this past month and um from my nursing videos. I just want to say thank you so much. You've helped my dreams come true literally and your support means the world to me and I'm so excited to build this community with y'all. It's just crazy seeing it come to fruition. I definitely lost faith a lot of times. But anyway, I'm not trying to rant too much at the start of this video, but follow your dreams, guys. Don't give up and have faith. Okay, I need to go clean because here I am procrastinating again. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> guys I just finally finished cleaning oh my gosh it's like 3 45 now I was going hard for hours you know when you just get in those zones once you start like deep cleaning and then you just can't stop because then you just find another thing that needs to be clean you just get in that zone and like everything has to be clean well that's kind of what happened but it needed to happen because, like I said, I've been putting it off for way too long. Feeling a lot better. I got to use my new vacuum that I got for Christmas. So, that's really nice. I was determined to get my bathroom finished. So, I did vacuum that. I mopped it. Washed my rugs. Scrubbed my shower so much. I scrubbed the whole thing with, like, the little shower scrub. Got in the shower and, like, rinsed it all out. And then used freaking toilet cleaner and a toilet brush to clean like under this like rim part that was just really gross i did that twice so honestly and there's still part of it that's stained my bathroom was the one part of this apartment that was not renovated and but you know it's clean so feeling very satisfied now though also i changed like three times because just whenever i'm cleaning i feel gross so anyway yeah this is my post cleaning outfit these sweats are from asos they're some of my favorite sweats ever and then this cropped sweatshirt is 
champion. Nick got it for me for my birthday a couple years ago. Oh, I also put my Christmas decorations up, so my tree is gone and my stockings are gone. I am gonna leave this thing up and this up for now, um, just because I feel like it still counts as wintry. Um, and the stuff that I had there originally is a little more springy, so I'm gonna wait and leave that, but I'm feeling good that I got the main stuff down. It's the next day. It's Friday. Well now it's like noon, but I just had a slow morning Got some things done and I'm just so happy that the Sun is finally out the Sun really affects my mood So happy Friday. It's a sunny day um, I was just sitting here on the couch drinking some coffee and getting together my work schedule for the next couple months So the way it works, it's kind of confusing and I still am trying to get the hang of it But the gist of it is you sign up for like a few months at a time and we have these time sheets out at the front desk and you just write in what dates you want to work and there's some rules like you have to work certain weekends and stuff but you write those in and then once that's been out for a while then you have to put in those dates on our like online scheduling system and then once that's done and it's approved and the numbers are approved and everything then it's finalized and they email us out like a um finalized digital copy of the schedule so then once i get that i like to put my work days in google calendar that's my favorite thing to do recently that's what works best i've found just so that it can be on my phone and on an app so i can just refer to it whenever i need to wherever i am um it's just a lot easier i found that way i guess i'll kind of show y'all for a while i got really into it i would put all these other to do things on Google Calendar as well, but then I just got sick of doing that. So now I mainly use it for my work dates. I'll still put like certain appointments and stuff on there so I don't interfere them with my work dates. But anyway, okay, so this was January. I just type it in as work. And then for my, I don't know if you can even see because the glare, but for my day shift, I put the little sun. And then for my night shifts, I put the little moon. So I just filled out this one for February going into March and I'm very excited because that purple strip is one of my vacation weeks so I decided to pick it to be on my birthday my birthday is March 1st so I've got all those days off right there and I'm very very excited about it I think I am going to try to plan an actual vacation so honestly need to get on that because it's kind of coming up I did just while I'm sitting here you know finishing my coffee I did want to talk to y'all about something and I'm going to try not to take too long to talk about this right now or to go too far in too deep right now just because I could talk about this for hours. And yeah, okay, let me prop it all up. Hey guys, I'm editing this video right now. And I just have to say this before this clip. Um, I was really nervous to tell you all this and you can tell I'm so fidgety. I touch my hair like a hundred times and I don't stop moving the whole time I'm talking. So I just want to say I'm aware and I'm sorry. I was just really nervous and it comes across. So please just disregard. I'm sorry. I just honestly wanted to like open up to you all about some things and like my goals and stuff. Um, so just with the new year coming up and you know, new year's resolutions, I've been thinking about the new year and stuff and my goals for 2022 and I just feel like one of my biggest like resolutions or goals is to really work towards my goals that I have set for things that are outside of work 
Um, I just have a lot of goals and dreams that aren't within my job, that aren't within nursing. I just kind of wanted to touch on that for a second, just because I want to be authentic with y'all and open. And I never want to feel like inauthentic making all these nursing videos and stuff. But basically what I'm trying to say is that I have dreams and goals and passions that don't have anything to do with nursing. And um, some people, I feel like nursing is like their thing, like that's all you know that's like their big passion that's all i care about they're all in and that's amazing because we need people like that truly like we desperately need people like that so that's so amazing if that's what you're like but that's not me <laughs> um and that's okay as well i'm just very like multi-passionate i guess you could say and i'm very grateful for my job i love those babies so much oh my gosh i love those babies and i wish we weren't so short-staffed i wish it wasn't so stressful right now but despite all that um just the type of person i am my personality the way that i was created i long for environments that have more freedom and more creativity like that's what lights me up and that's what sets me on fire is work environments that are more like that <laughs> if that makes sense which is really the opposite of healthcare. um that's a whole nother rant i could rant about the fact that people have to choose their careers at 17, 18, bef literally before you even know who you are. It's just messed up. Sorry, this is like hard to put into words and get out. I hope this is somewhat making sense, but honestly, I'm gonna insert a little paragraph of something that explains it really well and like puts it into words well. If you know anything about the Enneagram or if you're into the Enneagram, my Enneagram is a four wing three. And one time I was researching like careers for four wing three and it just made a lot of sense with how I feel. Anyway, that is really the whole reason why I like created this channel to begin with is because I needed like an outlet and I just needed a space to be creative and create things and like work on projects and stuff. That's the main reason why I created this channel and I've been loving it so I have a lot of goals with this channel and I'm really excited about it and then also starting in February I'm gonna be teaching a dance class and I'm so excited about that um, I was a competitive dancer for 15 years that was like my life from the time I was three till I graduated high school that was like my life that was my passion that was my everything um, but then I needed a break from it for college and I decided not to dance and stuff I've really missed it ever since but it was really important for me to find my identity outside of dance because my identity was so attached to dance to where it was actually an issue but anyway and then another crazy little story a couple weeks ago I was just feeling like very burnt out which is sad because <laughs> I'm so new to this um, job and everything but I was just feeling burnt out and just like something deeper. I was just feeling very frustrated. Like I had these unexplainable like longings knowing that like I had more purpose and I had more calling and I just didn't know like what it was. And I just like literally was in the shower and I just like cried out to God and was praying. And I was just like, I don't know what this feeling means. I just know like I was created for, for more. I meant for more. And I was like, God, at this point, I just really don't even know what this feeling is. I don't know what it is. I don't know, you know how i should act on it i don't know what to pursue what opportunities to pursue or like what i should do so i just asked god if he would intervene i was like i need your divine intervention at this point to guide me because i just i don't know but i just have this feeling i just if that makes any sense and then literally like a week later my personal trainer and also one of my good friends who i danced with my whole life she is a personal trainer and she also is a dance teacher at a studio. She was like, hey Layton, I have to ask you something. We lost our ballet teacher and my boss who taught us hip hop when we were really little, which is funny, but she said, my boss wanted me to ask you if you would be willing to do it for this year. And I was just like, wow. It was just crazy because it wasn't like anything I sought out or anything. Um, she specifically asked if I specifically could do it. Anyway, it was just like an answer to my prayers and I'm just really excited because dance and that age of girls has like a very special place in my heart and I just feel like this will be very fulfilling for my soul and I, yeah, I'm really excited about that for the new year, just working on more of the creative sides of my passions on this channel. Um, getting more involved in dance stuff and teaching and I'm really really excited about that and I also have some other goals as well just about dance but I don't want to rant too long but I just want to say that 
if you are someone like me who's like very multi-passionate and like being stuck in like one career makes you feel trapped and suffocated because that's how it makes me feel you don't have to be like pursue your other passions you can have multiple goals and do multiple things and be multifaceted like that's amazing like no one said you have to be stuck in this box like you can have one career and then build your other dreams and side hustles on the side that's amazing and i actually think that you should do it especially with a career like nursing that is so draining in all the ways like we need to do other things that fill us up you need to have other things that bring you joy that light you up and that recharge you especially creatively if you're someone who's like me and like craves that stuff also for the money aspect as well that's a whole other topic that i'm not going to get too much into but within nursing i feel like there's not many opportunities for growth of payment <laughs> um i mean unless you become like a nurse practitioner or like just are rewarded for how long you stay at a hospital or something but other than that like you work insanely hard and it's all active income you just honestly i feel like do not get paid barely for the work that you're putting in i just would encourage you to start investing in other things like start creating other opportunities if that's something that you're into sorry i got quiet because i feel like i hear someone right outside my door <laughs> start creating other opportunities invest in other things like work on that side hustle but if that's not your thing that's fine anyway i just want to be open with y'all so y'all know how i'm feeling know what's going on but i'm gonna go before i talk your ear off for hours and i'll see y'all later look at them you look cute no i don't yes you do no i don't yes you do <laughs> no i don't <gasps> 10 day late christmas gift 10 days late but i don't care I'm currently on my way to workout training. I was so in the zone editing my video that I lost track of time. It was literally time for me to leave and I wasn't even ready yet. So I had to rush out the door so fast. my workout and I thought I had planned to pick up my groceries from four to five so like right after I got done with my workout I was gonna go to Kroger and pick up my groceries and usually I get a text saying like your order is ready like let us know when you're on the way but I never got that text so I was like let me log in real quick and make sure everything's still good and I accidentally picked a pickup date like two days from now so now I'm gonna have to cancel my order and just go into the store and grocery shop and I just really not in the mood. I've gotten spoiled with my pickup grocery shopping and now I'm really sad that I have to go into the store and get everything but anyway so I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul. Kind of annoyed that that took a lot longer than I was anticipating since I had to go in and do all the grocery shopping but it's fine we're home. I got this parsley because I'm making a chicken noodle soup in the crock pot um, in the next few days. So some celery for that as well, some carrots for that and just to eat regularly. Um, some apples, some grapes, some blueberries, some grape tomatoes, um, some more ranch, and then some of this dressing that I've been loving. Chicken broth for chicken noodle soup. Some of these protein bars. Okay, I'm really excited about these finds. I just, I saw the um, chocolate oat milk and I thought it sounded really good just to drink. And then also to put in coffee, I thought it would be good. And then they were out of my regular coffee creamer, but I saw this and I thought it looked so good. So I'm excited to try this in the morning. Some detox tea, almonds, cashews, some lemons. Um, a yellow onion for my soup, some spices for the chicken noodle soup, just some cheese for sandwiches and stuff, some shrewdies because I was out and I just like to be stocked up for when I need them, some of these egg noodles for the chicken noodle soup, some of these things, I love to pack them in my lunch for work, they're super good, 
I was out of butter. And then I got some of this cashew milk, cookies and cream, chocolate ice cream. It is amazing. You need to try it. I'm obsessed. <laughs> got one for Nick as well because he also is obsessed with it. I saw these and I wanted to try them. They're just some barbecue protein crisps. Thought they looked good. Some orange juice, some baby spinach, and then this thing of uh, spring mix to use for salads. Some Greek yogurt for my overnight oats, even though I forgot to get the oats, but oh well. Some chicken breast for the soup. Um, some of this smoked turkey breast for sandwiches for lunch to take to work. These everything bagels, um, they're really good. They're organic and they have protein. So I got those and then I also got some of the chive and onion cream cheese to go on that because if y'all saw all my last vlog, you saw that I like to put the tomatoes on there and I thought that would be a really good combo. And then some of my favorite bread and some eggs. And that is it. Hey guys, I'm headed out to dinner with my friend Hannah, but I just wanted to show y'all my outfit really quick. I'm just wearing this black little turtleneck sweater bodysuit from Fashion Nova. And then these jeans are also from Fashion Nova. These boots, um, I got them from Miss Lola, I believe. Yeah, Miss Lola. And then I'm wearing my pea coat. I got this from Old Navy years ago, but it's such a good find. Got my MVMT watch on. And then I decided to do my hair in just this look back high pony because my hair was kind of dirty and I just wasn't feeling like styling it in any other way. So I just did some simple makeup and then my hoops and I'm actually really liking the look with the pony. I love a good pony. <laughs> oh, also the main piece to my outfit is this Gucci purse that my boyfriend Nick just got me. That was like the random clip that you guys saw earlier and I'm just so excited. It's beautiful. Um, this is my first Gucci item that I've ever owned. <laughs> so I'm very excited. It's super special. He got it for me for Christmas and our anniversary because our anniversary, two year anniversary was on, of dating, <laughs> was on the 20th, December 20th. And he ordered a different purse originally and didn't like it and then sent it back and got this one instead. So it came late after Christmas, but he gave it to me today. Anyway, so... That is a look and I'm gonna head out, but I'll see y'all later. I still have stuff to do when I get home before work. So I'm probably gonna be up a little late, but that's okay.